What is up, everyone? Guess where I am? Not New York or Boston, but Savannah. I'm in Savannah, Georgia because my brother goes to school here. He goes to Savannah College of Art and Design. And I am here for his graduation. Can you imagine graduating college? Graduating, graduating college. <laughs> but I'm so proud of him and so hyped to see him. I just got to the hotel. None of my family is here. My parents aren't here yet. My brother isn't answering my texts because he doesn't love me, Patrick, answer. And Will, since he has work, today's Thursday. So he's not gonna come till tomorrow. And my brother's graduation is 5 p.m. tomorrow. So Will should make it like right before that. It is inhumanly hot outside. In I don't think that's a word. I think inhumane's a word. But it's, it's fucked up, guys. It's so hot out. I, I don't even know what to wear. My brother literally just called me and said he's picking me up now. And so he's gonna be here in like five minutes. I just changed shirts because the other one was like really raggy and gross and I just traveled in it. But I think I'm just gonna keep my pants, sneakers. It's scandalous, but like, you know what? Fuck off, it's really hot out. <laughs> There's a lot of skin. Um, but then yeah, just long pants. It is so hot out though, I feel like this is still just not gonna be comfortable, even though I'm wearing practically nothing. My brother said that he's gonna pick me up and I was going to go to one of his friend's architecture shows, which sounds really cool, so I'm really excited. I'll bring you guys with me and I'll see what I get up to tonight. I don't know how to end things, bye. Makeup just makes like the biggest difference. It's crazy. I wish I wasn't too lazy to wear makeup. I got ready in like five minutes in the morning and I just like, sleep is more important. That's, I just put on mascara and I'm feeling like a tasty snack. Dope, I'm gonna go downstairs and meet my brother. Or have it done. This is brother. This is brother's girlfriend, Nora. <laughs> Look at his shoes. Patrick, stop walking. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Just waking up. Today is my brother's graduation. Graduation. So I thought that I would do a little little makeup thing. <laughs> so this is pretty much the bag that I brought for my toiletries. Uh, trust me, you're not gonna learn anything mind blowing or like new. I keep shit pretty simple and straightforward, so don't get too excited. I only packed a carry-on, which means that I couldn't really bring the liquids that I wanted to. So I just went to Caudalie. So they gave me these samples of like serums and stuff. So I always start with some sort of moisturizer. I just didn't really bring my normal moisturizer. So this is my travel makeup routine. <laughs> Yay, so trendy. And I didn't even bring my regular face wash because that's also liquid. So I was literally just using this bar of soap. Being a little peasant. Yeah, this was not good for my skin. It felt so dry and horrible last night. But we made it, and now we're hydrating it. <laughs> All right, so now that I've like moisturized and like cleansed my mouth, my face, I have this like foundation stick. I used to use a lot. Um, it's honestly really nice for travel, again, because it's not a liquid if I want it just for like a quick weekend. So I usually just like dab this wherever I feel like I need some coverage. Then I just take a brush. I use this brush for literally everything. I use it to blend my contour, blend my highlight, blend my foundation. It's just kind of like my all-around brush. So yeah, that's my skin with a little bit of that on. My skin feels dry still, help. Wish I got some sort of moisturizer. This isn't supposed to moisturize, that's why my skin feels 
So it feels dry. It helped. It's supposed to tighten your skin and do something. <laughs> Is it bad to put serum on after you just put on? Ooh, you know what? Maybe this is a new thing, guys. Maybe this is how you get your foundation to look super natural and dewy. Or maybe I just took half of it off, which is why it looks natural. <laughs> but I have to go take my dog out for a walk because... Um, ah! That was my foundation. I don't like skin makeup just because like, I don't like the way it feels. And I feel like it's bad for my skin. But I'll make an exception for my brother's graduation. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go take my dog out. Pause. Did you, you wanna go for a walk? Uh, okay. It is so hot here. As soon as I leave, I'm just insta sweating. Come on, Cakes. She's scared of like metal things, so she has to walk around them. But it's like high 90s the entire time I'm here. Will actually is coming today. He should arrive around like five before the graduation. Well, the graduation starts at five, so hopefully around four. Oh, see, normally I would enjoy the sun, but the sun is cooking me right now. It is so hot. I just ran into my family downstairs while I was walking with Kiki. And my mom was like, oh my god, like, why are you so ugly? Like, you're not even wearing a bra. Like, first of all, mom, free the knit. Second of all, I was just going out to take my dog for a walk. Like, I'm not going to be dressed up. Anyways, let me just complain about my family a little bit. Next step, <laughs> contour. I kind of just try and see where there's, like, a natural shading when I do this. And then I just try and accentuate it. I think there's kind of a learning curve. I feel like I kind of used to be worse at it. But you get the hang of it. Oh, and you know what I like to contour when I'm feeling frisky? Right here. If you contour like right beneath your lip, it kind of makes your lip look a little more, you know, like pouted. Like there's more like a shadow underneath. Um, I, I usually never do it, but now that I'm filming, might as well show you my, my beauty secrets. Shh, you know what, beauty is not a secret. It's called DNA and makeup skills. Honestly, there are some girls with some nasty makeup skills. It's also just a social construction, so. I'm just gonna use the same brush to blend. So, that's my contour. My mom also just gave me some hate for apparently missing my brother's actual graduation. Apparently like the real graduation was this morning at like eight, not waking up that early. And then the actual like diploma giving where they like read the names, which I thought was gonna be the real graduation, is until like five. So I'm going to that one. And then I'm gonna go in with some highlights. Oh, should I be telling you my products? Like, hello, I'm a beauty vlogger. Um, this is Hourglass. This is actually, I, I do want to say this name because I really love this contour. It's called, it's from Anastasia, Beverly Hills. Um, I used to have like a whole contour and highlight palette, but that was just like too big and like extra. So now I have like a contour stick and it's just so much easier to like, it's smaller and more compact and it's like less stuff. Like the palette was so big and extra. And then on top of that, like I needed a brush to apply it. And like, we all know I only have this brush. So, ooh, this light. So speaking of my only brush, we're gonna go in with that. I wonder if some like beauty people are just like cringing at my unprofessional makeup skills. Unprofessional, unprofessional. Words are hard, man. So that's my like skin. And now we go in for the eyes. And it's a struggle. I don't like having small eyes. You know, I want this like big and like blue and like but you gotta work with work with what you got. So I am gonna work with what I got. This is my eyeshadow palette, and this is all I use. Pretty much ever. Um, I don't really use any other colors. Like a dark gray, I would say, and then just like 
this really pretty like bronze shimmery look. That's all I use. So I usually use this darker color to uh, do the crease or like the out corners of my eyes, out corners, like that. And then I take this bronze color and then I just do like the lid. And then I just like go in with a blend, kind of just like mess with it to blend it. And that's how I do my eyeshadow. And then I'll take this brush because I have multiple brushes. I have this to put it on here and then this to do like around my edges. So then I have like this pointy brush to get like the bottom. So I basically do the same thing. Dark along here. And sometimes I'll add some sparkles along here too. So I'm feeling frisky. So that side's done. Now we move to the next. On to the next. I admire those girls that put on makeup every day. Utmost admiration for you girls. I just, just I don't have the patience. Like whenever I do makeup, like it's a thing. We're like getting ready for something. It's like, maybe I'm going to a club. Maybe I'm going to a graduation. I don't, I can't even think of times that I put on makeup. Uh. So there's that, that's my eyeshadow. And then I usually take this liquid liner. We don't always have liquid time for liquid liner, but when we do, ooh. There's a little flick of the wrist. We're gonna do the other side. And we must remember, eyeliner and brows and everything, oh, everything on your face. They are sisters, not twins. So that's my liquid liner situation. Then I just throw in some mascara and that's it. I don't like this mascara, it's from Benefit. I'm sorry if you like this mascara, I'm not trying to hate on you. But all my other mascaras are old. And this mascara, new, is nicer than the mascara that's old. I try and go on light because this clumps pretty easily. Does anyone use mascara for their brows? Just like a touch. <clears throat> I've used that before. Favorite lip stuff is the Sugar Chapstick in Rose. This is golden. It gives you so much moisture. I don't really like lipsticks. I feel like it like chaps my lips. Like you have to reapply and it gets on your teeth. And so I'm a huge fan of like tinted lip balms, uh, which is exactly what this is. And it's my favorite kind. That is my makeup routine. And now I'm going to change and you can see my final look. Yeah, this is what I'm wearing. It's just a romper with heels. Um, I'm pumped for the graduation. I'm so happy for him. It's my maquillage. Patrick, you always take so long to open your presents and it kills me. I always open all of his Christmas presents. Yeah, yeah every time he, he takes, takes, takes so, so long. long. I don't get it. Like, are you not excited? <laughs> Very precise along the lines. I don't know, what's this? <laughs> Is that a projector? Oh, that's actually super cool. Aww. It said you wanted one. You guys Patrick, Julian, Maynard. Yeah! Patrick, Patrick! No words of wisdom. No. Okay. He graduated cum laude. 
hence the gold thing. He's smart. No. I have been doing a horrible job vlogging this weekend, but this yeah, is... You're trash. We are walking to breakfast right now, and look at how pretty it is. Savannah! Ooh, na na. No, that's Savannah. <laughs> I just got my hair done at a salon. And it, you know, getting a blowout really just... It's a confidence booster. Right, Will? Yeah, it really brightens my day when I get a blowout. Can you tell what I did? You got it poofed. <laughs> all, like, what else did I do? Straightened. And then curled again. I don't know. <laughs> Straightened and then curled again. <laughs> I got highlights. Uh -oh. So, hey Siri! Turn off the music! Turn all the lights off. Thanks, Siri. I am back in my apartment in New York. Um, I think I'm actually gonna go to Brooklyn today because my brother is moving to New York. So pumped about it, and I'm gonna go pick up his key for him so that when he comes, he can just move right on in. Because I'm an angel sister. I am the worst vlogger ever. There's like a few gap days that I just didn't film because some days I just feel like vlogging, and some days I don't. So get off my. Today is Wednesday. Last night, I actually went to MoMA, the Museum of Modern Art <laughs> in New York. It's in Midtown. I went with a childhood family friend of mine. Her name is Lily. We basically grew up together, and she lives in New York now, so that's pretty awesome. But we went to this party. It was super fun, super bougie, as art parties tend to be. These are some photos slash videos of what I wore slash did. There was this one girl, this one stranger, who got into literally every single one of the photos that me and Lily tried to take together, so we don't have a, a single photo of just the two of us, because there's always this one girl who's like, let me get in this photo, which was really annoying, and I don't know why we just like didn't tell her to get out, like it was, it was the very end of the night. And they were basically like telling us to get out because it was the end of the night, but we still wanted to take a few more photos. Kind of like all panic, you can see like security guards like yelling at us to get out. And we're just like, wait, pictures. <laughs> Last night was super fun. Today is a new day and I got it started so late. Now, I have a friend from Northeastern freshman year. He was like my best friend. We went to almost all of our classes together. He is actually from the city and he is here for a week. So we are going to go shopping. I think we're gonna go to a thrift store, but I could be wrong. I'm gonna head out. I got this really cute pajama top from Victoria's Secret and it has a matching bottom. I've been wearing it a lot because it's super cozy and comfy. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of wearing that as a shirt today. This top is from Victoria's Secret. This shirt is from my mom's closet. <laughs> this skirt, I don't really know. This is a machino belt. And then these boots are from Mage. They're kind of like docks, but not as bulky and like a little more feminine. I don't know, I think they look a little more stylish than the average doc. This is what I'm wearing today, tonight, today, to go shopping. And then I need a purse. We got an, yeah, I don't, I don't feel like dropping the name brands. <laughs> Let's hope this one does a little better job of showing my outfit. <laughs> if you can't tell, I am trying to work in the fashion industry. Because I like putting together those fire fits. <laughs> training sessions I had one and when the lady like asked me what my past fitness experience has been I told her you know like I went to a ski academy training was batshit crazy like twice a day kind of crazy weightlifting shit and so today oh my arms hurt I can't. today she was like oh okay what can I give an athlete that can challenge her Oh, I was challenged. 
was I challenged? Yeah, so she killed me. Good news today, um, my brother Patrick, he is moving to New York. He said he would get here by like one or two. Oh, and sorry I didn't film any of my shopping with my friend that I was meeting up with yesterday. I hadn't seen him in a really long time. And I don't know, I kind of just saw him and we just started hanging out and I kind of just forgot to film. So, world's best vlogger, round two. So I'm gonna go shower, I'm gonna get some work done. I'm probably just gonna stay here to get work done, I mean. And then I'm gonna go all the way to Brooklyn and help my brother move in. I'm so excited. This top is from Aloe Yoga, by the way. I got a lot of compliments on it today, so. This is the top. Aloe Yoga. Go purchase this shit, it's cool. I wear this top all the time, it's like my favorite top. And then underneath I just have like an Under Armour sports bra. Hey world, here's my tits. I'm in front of the window, so. Cool. Oh, I don't wanna to touch me. <laughs> Bye. So for instance, Target um, is generally known as a discount retailer in the oh, US. Target his point for any number of reasons. Patrick! I'm in Brooklyn, and Patrick's moving. I'm helping him move in. That's his bike. I have been in here carrying boxes. Arms literally shaking. There's Patrick's. yesterday because I I don't want to be annoying and film when I go to these types of things but I went to a pop-up shop that was super cool yesterday because the designer was Olivier Rogers designs for like Gunna, uh, Lil Uzi uh, just really really cool guy there was also a lot of basketball players there because I, I don't I don't really know why it was such a long line to get into the store but thankfully managed to slide on in. Really just a lot of cool people that I'm looking forward to continuing to see while I'm in New York. One of my favorite parts about New York is all the connections and cool people you can meet if you really just put yourself out there. The way I heard about the pop-up shop was through um, Terry Rozier. I got to see him yesterday and it was really cool because I hadn't seen him in a while because I've moved to New York and he lives in Boston, obviously Celtics. And no, I will never put him in my vlog because because I'm not trying to put a camera in these people's faces. I'm not trying to put a camera in most people's faces unless they want me to put a camera in their face. I'll bring you by Patrick's apartment probably soon, maybe my next vlog, so that you guys can see how he put it all together and how it looks super nice now. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys. We could take a boat ride We could make a milli with no cosign We could go to Europe We could go to Africa Went to in Johannesburg It don't really matter